let's go back to basics of what an angle is. An angle is, uh, I'm not sure if I can get this to work, but we'll see here. Okay, if you talk about what an angle is, it's, uh, an angle is basically, you know, how far around this one arm has rotated from the other arm. When you first learn about angles, you don't talk about a direction of angle. We're going to have to start talking about a direction of an angle here. When you first learn about angles, it's just, here's two lines or line segments, and you learn that the angle is this. And here, and you take a protractor, you know, and you put it on there, and you measure the angle. And you look at your protractor and see what the angle is. The farther around that has rotated, you have to think about this as a hinge, right, where it's, it's something that's moved, this vertex here. And putting an angle in standard position is basically just saying, I would like to put a set of coordinate axes on this angle so that I can talk about points that are on the arm. So I could say, talk about a point that's on there because now I have whatever my coordinates are here. So it's combining sort of geometry and this uh, coordinate system because then you can give coordinates of this, whatever it is, x, y, and you can use those in triangles and talk about trig ratios for that angle. So it's connecting some of the geometry you've done with this. That's all this means by standard position, is putting it so the angle starts on the positive x-axis and then is rotated around this way if the angle's positive and this way if the angle's negative. So I put a lot of blanks down here, but but don't forget that. That's what standard position means. I mean, we can fill in some of the blanks here, and I put all these point OA and OP and all this stuff, but an angle is just the measure between two things there, which I didn't draw so well. And again, all it is is putting a set of axes on there. And it's just like any other convention. You know, why do we drive on the right side of the road? Why do we read a book from this way to this way? Why do you, you know, write from left to right on the page? It's just because that's the way it's always been done, you know. Uh, why is it that the angle is put so that the it starts on the positive x-axis? And why is it that you go this way around and call that positive? It's like anything else. You know when you learn number lines and grade, whatever, which way do the positive numbers go? Which way, On a number line, if you have zero here, except I'm not on my pen. If you have zero here, which way do the positive numbers go to the right and that's just because that's the way it you know that's kind of convention you could do it the other way right but maybe nobody would understand and they'd get confused it's the same thing here um, by agreement the angle produced by rotating this so if that's rotated around there's an angle between those two and a counterclockwise direction is considered to be a positive angle so this angle well they're talking about that this is positive 40 degrees This uh, starting arm here, word meaning starting, is called the initial. The word initial means start, right? What's the initial value of this? Initially we had whatever. Initial means start. The other arm's called the terminal arm because it's where it ends. You think about the angle starting on one place and rotating around to the other. Terminal, right? The, the terminal of a subway line or SkyTrain line is the end one. All the other ones are stations, but a terminal usually means end of the line, right? For a train, you got train tracks here and there's the terminal at the end. Okay, if you have a terminal illness, we know what that means, why they use that word. Um, uh, rotating clockwise is going to be a negative angle. I don't want to get too hung up on all the blanks here because I put them in originally so that if you were working through, you could make some sense of it. But uh, I don't know at this point, I think maybe you, you probably get it. Negative angle is, you know, that's negative 40 if you're going around the other way. Um, terminal arm. That's really good. Could you deal with that, somebody? Okay, called the terminal arm and the, the initial arm and terminal arm the same way there. Uh, you know, starting there and ending there. I'll let you fill that in for yourself. Uh, 
So if you're reading this again, to study angles with respect to a coordinate system, uh, we have to agree on how we put the coordinates on there. So it's just, if you have any kind of angle here, it's taking that angle and placing it so that we have, this is not going to let me do that, but if you have an angle here, it's taking that angle and putting it here. It's not going to let me rotate it, I don't think, but whatever. You can imagine it being rotated now so that it's here instead, right? Placing it on a coordinate axis so that the vertex is here. The vertex of the angle has to be at the origin. The origin is the point zero, zero, if you didn't know the word origin. And the initial arm... Initial arm is on the positive x-axis. Part of the reason for doing that is because quadrant one, that's quadrant one, by the way. You know the numbering of the quadrants? The numbering of the quadrants follows the way you rotate around in a positive direction. That's quadrant one, that's quadrant two, and then three and four. The reason that the angles between zero and 90 degrees are in quadrant one is because x and y are both positive here. Right? If you I'll go back to this because it's a lot easier to see it this way. As you rotate around here, okay, those are numbered that way because uh, if you, maybe we'll put the coordinates of this point on here. Is that point C? Is that what it was called? Value. And we'll even make it some crazy color here, purple. If you rotate around here, you notice the coordinates are, are both positive. I'm not insulting your intelligence. I'm just reminding you of something you already know. As soon as you flip over to here, one of them becomes negative. The x axis, the x coordinate becomes negative because you're on the left side of zero here. As soon as you come down here, both of them become negative because you're to the left and below. And then you keep going over here. You're back over here. So the x is positive because you're on the right side of that. And then they both become positive up here again. If you want to show a positive angle, there's a positive angle. Positive angle is rotated around here. If I if I don't tell you how I got there, if I just say here's an angle, I could have actually got there by going the other way. If I'd started here and gone back that way, I know that arc is showing there, but you could you could call it that instead and call that a negative angle. A negative angle again is counterclockwise. Those two together are, these are called co-terminal angles. This and this are co-terminal angles because they end in the same place. Angles that end in the same place are called co-terminal. You may have heard that word before. Um, I, I left you something here. In this, uh, in this unit, I've kind of incorporated the practice along the way here. Some of the practice are a little check your understanding things instead of having it all in a separate book at the end, because I thought, at that point, I thought that was a good idea, but then some people found it not great because they didn't know where to look for practice afterwards. But that's what these things are. This is not anything other than just draw an angle that ends in quadrant four and does that. But uh, I'm getting ahead of myself talking about coterminal angles here. A coterminal angle is one that terminates or ends in the same place, in the same position. They share a common terminal arm. Working in degrees for a second here. If I have an angle that is ending here, let's say we have an angle of, let's say that is 140 degrees. If I was to have another negative angle coterminal with that, what negative angle is coterminal with that? Negative how much? 220. You could, I mean, those aren't the only two angles that are coterminal. You could actually have one that, uh, if we extend this here, goes all the way around and then ends on there. What would that be? Well, it would be 360 to go around once, and then another, then another 140. What would it be? 500 degrees. All of those are coterminal. They're coterminal because they all end in that same spot. 
There's lots of things in here that are not uh, that are not that hard. That's for you to think about after when you get to it. Looking at coterminal angles, I've written down a lot more than um, maybe is necessary here for t for you to get that concept. This um, this uh, tutorial has lots of pages in it, but it doesn't have a lot of difficult concepts in it. I, I put these in this unit to remind